This video will take a look at the Output Live feature within Mosaic Designer 2. As you're programming, it's useful not only to take a look at the built-in simulator inside of Mosaic Designer, but also to take a look at the actual output. In order to do this, we can enable Output Live from within the Timeline tab. At the top of your screen, you'll notice the Output Live symbol. To use this, click on it, and it will initialize Output Live. At this point, when I run my timeline, anything that the timeline is telling the lights to do will not only happen inside of the program, but will be outputted actually from the controller. We have the ability to modify this, though. By default, Output Live will take control of the entire controller and turn off anything else that was previously running. If you want to limit this, we can turn off Output Live and go into our Output Live control settings. Inside here, by default, we are working with all channels. You can change this to output particular groups, layouts, universes, or controllers. So for instance, if I go into groups and I just want to take a look at my main fountain lights, I can now select that, turn on Output Live, and play this exact same timeline, but notice only my main fountain lights are outputting. This is a really useful tool if you want to have existing programming still playing and modify just a small aspect of your design. However, do keep in mind that you have this set and remember to turn it off when you want to go back to all output control. 